Hi, and welcome to Analyzing Disputes. Here's where we're going. Types of conflict, hot and cold. Action plan for hot conflict and cool conflict guidelines. Types of conflict. Most conflict stems from personality or issue disagreements. People clash as the result of temperament and emotion over differences of perspective and opinion. Personality-focused conflict is generally the toughest to deal with because it is emotional, people-intensive, and frequently the product of a grudge. By contrast, issue-centered disputes typically give rise to a cooler variety that is intellectual, idealistic, in other words, based on hoods, and rooted in perceptual differences between people. For example, labor versus management. Cool conflict is less emotionally explosive than hot conflict, but may take longer to extinguish. Remember the dimensions of both hot and cold conflict. Hot conflict centers on personalities, whereas cold conflict centers on issues. Hot conflict centers on emotions, whereas cold conflict centers on ideas. Hot conflict deals with confrontation, whereas cold conflict deals with debate. Hot conflict deals with the past, whereas cold conflict deals with the future. Hot conflict deals with commissions, whereas cold conflict deals with omissions. Hot conflict deals with power, and cold conflict deals with principle. Action plan for hot conflict. First, strive to get those involved to bury the hatchet and put the overall mission of the group first. Accentuate the use of we and us over I and me. Speak in the future tense rather than the past tense. Substitute I think for I feel. Get people to focus more on their intentions and ideals than their past behaviors or words. Stress opportunities for future accomplishment over past failures and shortcomings. Cool conflict guidelines. Help those involved to see the many things they already have in common and the goals they share. Assist the team in clarifying its goals and standards to facilitate rational discussion of the conflict issues. Give people ample opportunity to air their views and perspectives. Search for creative alternatives and options that everyone can endorse without feeling they've sold out. Encourage people to experiment with an idea or alternative before rejecting it. In return, promise to drop the idea if the experiment fails to work out satisfactorily. Challenge people to substitute facts for opinions and analysis for generalities. So here's where we've been. To manage conflict better, it is important to understand the different types of conflict. Applying a simple plan can help you better manage hot and cold conflicts.